what's up guys this chance and you know i'm sitting here watching brown tsunami like always on saturdays you know i always watch tsunami on saturday nights um it's something i grew up doing but I wanted to talk about something that I've never really talked about. You guys know me. I've always talked about my music. I've always talked about stuff, you know, pertaining to where I want to go in life. And some of the comments in my previous live stream from earlier today made me want to do this. And show you guys just why I said a lot of the stuff that I said earlier. Because not a lot of you realize what I go through in my daily life. And maybe you'll understand a little more of where I'm coming from. And why I have the kind of attitude that I have. And why I want to do everything I want to do with my life. See, what you guys see is a normal person. But that's just by looking at me. What you guys don't realize is the fight that I fight every day. And it's not an easy fight either. It's one of the hardest fights ever. And that's the fight for my life. Some of you may or may not know this, but I was born in one pound, 12 ounces. I was also born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. And I honestly was supposed to die at birth. Doctors said I would not live, that I would not make it past birth. I had to be on an oxygen tube for God knows how long. I was on an oxygen tank as well. Wasn't supposed to live. And growing up, I was always picked on, you know, the usual shit. But for me, it was worse. Because while kids were out there playing football, I couldn't do it because of my one kidney. I mean, I could play baseball and, you know, skateboard and go skating and stuff like that but I can you know they like any major contact sports like that but let's fast forward past all that to these days every day I wake and I stare death in the face and I say fuck you to it, and I fight, and I live every day of my life. Every day is a constant battle for me because of the fact that I was born with one kidney and one and a half lungs. I know that at any given time, those could go out, and there won't be anything that anybody could really do. And, you know, I not only deal with that, but from my mom who was hit by a car a couple years ago and has a very hard time getting up and down stairs. While our roommate works during the daytime, I help take care of her on top of fighting my own battles. And... You guys understand, but I have things that I would like to do before I die. And one of those things being is doing what I'm truly skilled at, which is racing. See, you guys think I complain too much. 
about things that I can't do, but what you guys don't see is the battle that I fight every day. And how sometimes, not only is it physically draining, but it's mentally and emotionally draining as well. Because there are days where I don't want to get up. But I make myself get up and I say, no, I'm going to get up and I'm going to fight through today. And I'm going to live. Because I have lives to save through my music. I have people to touch and help through my music and what I do. It's not an easy fight. Sometimes I just, there are times where I literally break down and cry because the fight gets so hard. And I don't know what to do a lot of the times because I'm only human. I don't have all the answers all the time. But I do know this, that every day I wake up, I stare death in the face and I look at it and, you know, and I smile and laugh and say, you're not getting me today. You're not getting me ever. And nobody seems to understand that. All they see is somebody who sits there and complains about what they can't do. But what you don't see is the fight that I go through every day on the inside. And how it physically drains me and emotionally and mentally drains me. Knowing that every day I live could very well be my last day and me not know it. Yes, I'm 27 now. I'll be 28 in September. But every day I live is a good day for me. I don't take any day for granted whatsoever. And you know, and that's part of the reason why I want to get signed to a paying record label so bad. So that I can change all that for myself. And, you know, like, I want to be able to, for my family, I want to make sure that if I do die, that they will have enough money left over to where they won't ever have to work again. I want to live. I really do. But if I do go... I know that my music career is left in good hands with my little brother, Ian, who is actually my protege. He's next in line to pick up where I left off. Him and my brothers, Eric and Bob Heeks, P.O., also known as Zach or Possessed One. They are the three that are to carry on my music career after I pass. See, you guys think I just sit here and complain. No. I don't just sit here and complain. I fight a battle that nobody should have to fight. You guys think it's easy? You try being in my shoes. And being mentally and physically and emotionally drained from what you have to fight through. Knowing that, knowing well aware that your life can end like that. Just with the snap of a finger. That's why I never take any day for granted. I wake up, I smile, I stare death in the face and say, you're not getting me. I am going to make it through this day. And, 
you know, it's hard at times. It really is hard. Mm. Like a lot of people don't see that. A lot of people don't see the physical and emotional and face every day. And why there are times where I get so upset that I just want to quit and throw everything in. But then I look back and I remind myself that there are people that I have to fight for. There are people that depend on me. Not only blood family wise, but music wise. There are people that depend on my music whose lives it saved. And even now, like, even just talking to you guys. It really is hard at times. And that I fight so hard. That's why I try not to complain, but when I do, I have a reason. And I hope that you guys see now just what I face every day. And how hard it gets. There, like I said, there are days where I don't even want to get out of bed because it's so exhausting, both physically and emotionally and mentally. And I hope you guys now see just what I go through every day. And just how hard I fight. And why I do what I do with my music. And why I want to be signed to a pro label so bad. I want to live out my dreams as a real professional music performer on stage with some of the best names in the business. I want to perform on stage with the people that I grew up watching and listening to as a kid. I want to be able to say, hey, I performed on stage with my heroes, but the people that I grew up listening to that inspired me, that helped me get through my dark times and inspired me to do what I do now. And I can't do it on my own. I just, I can't do it. I need a professional record label that's willing to give me a chance. I don't have any money. Knowing I have physical appearances that are different, but also being understanding enough of what I go through every day to say, hey, I want to give this guy a chance. I want to let him show me what he can do. And I hope you guys understand that now as to why I want so badly to be signed to a professional label that will pay me for what I do. Because I want to live out my dreams as a music artist to the fullest level that I can. And, you know, I hope that what I do every day inspires you about your dreams. And to not take life for granted at all. Every day you wake up, you look in that mirror and you say that, hey, I'm going to do something with myself today. Or, hey, I'm going to talk to that girl. Or, hey, I'm going to talk to that guy that I like. Instead of wasting your life away, I want you guys to wake up and chase after your dreams. No matter what cost it takes, do what you have to to make it happen.
I don't care if you work a nine to five job. If you have a dream that you really want to live that doesn't involve a nine to five job, go after that dream. Chase after it. Because the words that my dear friend Mitch spoke before he passed away in his song called You Only Live Once are true. They ring very true. You only live one life in a very short time. So make every second divine. Which means you only live one life. So you got to make every second count that you can. Chase after your dreams. Stop doing the jobs that you hate. Because we all know you hate those jobs that you're doing. So stop waiting around to chase them. Do it now while you have the chance. It don't matter how old or young you are. It really doesn't. Fuck what society says. Chase after your dreams. Before you end up on your deathbed. Wondering what if. You need to stop with the what ifs and start doing it. Start chasing your dreams. People might think you're crazy, yes. But you know what? A little craziness can go a long ways. It really can. And anyways, guys, I need to hop off here because I have stuff I have to do. But I hope this guy has gave you a glimpse into my life and what I face every day with struggles. And just for my life and how hard I fight for my career. And just what it is that I go through. And I hope that I inspire you guys to do what you want with your lives. And I hope that I, that I inspire you guys to chase your dreams no matter what the cost. Anyways, guys, I love you all, and 